What is up guys, so this is going to be my review for Supergirl Season 3, Episode 6, titled Midvale. This episode was definitely not a traditional episode of Supergirl. There was zero action. That doesn't really bother me, but this episode was mostly pointless. This episode was like a flashback episode on Arrow, but with a lot more flashbacks. I was honestly surprised that the flashbacks took up so much of the episode, and while the flashbacks were pretty good, the fact that we had like two scenes in the present day made this episode pretty pointless. All it did was show us how Kara and Alex became friends in the first place. It didn't forward the plot of the season. It didn't build the relationship between Kara and Alex, which it seems to set out to do, but really didn't show. It also didn't help Alex at all dealing with the breakup, which was the whole point of going to Midville for a couple days. But beyond the pointlessness of this episode, I actually really liked the flashbacks. I felt like it could have been an episode of Supergirl, uh, like a Supergirl version of Smallville maybe called Midvale. I mean, they had an entire cast, which, by the way, the new actress for Kara and Alex, they were pretty good. Kara especially looked so much like ben Melissa Benoist. It's crazy. But both the actresses were pretty good. They definitely they definitely could have led the Supergirl version of Smallville that I just mentioned. So the mystery aspect of this episode was pretty good, although like the figuring out that the sheriff was behind everything was a little predictable. And then the teen drama thing, part of this episode, it was fine for one episode. I wouldn't watch a TV show of that, just like, I don't like Smallville. Hate me all you want, Smallville's not good. But I just felt like for one episode, it was fine. But the, the sheriff thing was really disappointing. Also, I felt like two twists, like first they thought it was the football player, and then they thought it was the teacher, and then they, then they knew it was the sheriff. That was a little over, like you could have just done one thing, like they thought it was... It was the footballer, and then it turns out it's the teacher. So I, I keep on saying that this is like Smallville, and they even mentioned, they even like had a reference to Smallville when they said Chloe with the wor world, uh, what's it called? The Wall of Weird. That's really cool reference. That's obviously Chloe Sullivan from Smallville. But the, the thing that this episode contributed the most to the universe of Supergirl, of Earth 38 of the Arrowverse, is that this episode confirmed Dude wears underwear over his tights. Superman used to wear red underwear over his tights like he used to in the comics. That's huge, my dude. He wears, he just wears nothing now. He, it's just blue, and that's awesome. I think his Superman costumes look so much cooler without the red underwear. Like, red underwear is so stupid. But this episode definitely confirmed that he used to wear red underwear, so I think it was a really good move. For him to change, but that's really the only get like the, the only takeaway from this episode is that Superman used to wear red pants. That's that says a lot about this episode. So in conclusion, the flashbacks were pretty good, but but really this episode was pointless. I give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. wasn't the greatest episode of all time. wasn't the worst episode of all time, but it just it's so pointless. You could literally just pluck it out of the out of the season, and I'm guessing the season will be unchanged. But again, but then again, the flashbacks were pretty good. But then again, again, they were also pointless. So what do you think about the episode? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.